everyone and welcome back to my channel hope you're all doing really well so for today's video i do have another haul um i feel like this is gonna be my last haul for a little while like i've really been doing a lot of shopping i'm going to show you like different clothes on different websites but i feel like i need to take a little bit of a break but i wanted to do a pretty little thing haul because i've never actually done a pretty little thing haul on my channel before i don't think i don't really shop on pretty little things to be honest with you it's not for any particular reason i just don't really ever go on their website but right i'm gonna do a haul for pretty little thing see what their like autumn winter stuff is like and see if they're like a good brand to shop with to do hauls with and stuff like that so that's what i'm gonna do and i'm just warning you as well i said this might be my last haul for a little while I don't know if that's going to be the case. I mean, I can't trust myself. But I've got a pretty big bag here. But I just want to say thank you to ShopTagger for sponsoring this video. I've worked with ShopTagger before. And I'm sure you've all heard of it anyways. But just in case, it's basically an online shopping tool that helps you save your time and your money. It's such a helpful tool while you're shopping. And even more so now that Black Friday sale is going to be coming up. Cyber Monday, Christmas shopping. It's going to be great. Because I'm going to be able to see if anything that I want to buy soon. Whether it goes on sale for the Black Friday sale or the Cyber Monday sale. So with the ShopTagger, you can either download the app or you can download their website browser extension and then all you need to do is sign up and then go onto a website that you're shopping on and all you have to do is save the item your shop tagger list and then you can then request notifications for when the item either goes on sale or whether it comes back in stock and you can either get these notifications like a push-up notification on your phone if you're using the app or you can get them through email kind of guess whatever you prefer so i've recently started a christmas shopping list because it's getting close to christmas now so i can start saving items that i want to buy people for christmas to my christmas shopping list and then i can see if any of the items items come back in stock if they're out of stock or if they're gone south so I can save some money around Christmas time which is always good and also another great little tool if you're using ShopTagger on the computer it can actually scan the web for coupon codes and see if any coupon codes are available on that website the minute so you can save even more money to shop even more smartly you can actually start earning cash back with ShopTagger through PayPal as well for certain retailers so you can earn money so yeah I'm definitely going to be using ShopTagger way more especially now that we're getting more into like, the Christmas period well we're not we're October but I start buying presents like October November time and if you use shop tag on both your computer and your phone you can save even more money I will definitely leave all the information and the links in the description box below for shop tagger if you do want to check it out and you want to save more money and shop a little bit more smartly as well okay so on to the haul I feel like I say this in every haul but I can't actually remember why I ordered and I literally placed this order two days ago I think and I've forgotten so I've got a problem and I will of course leave all the pieces that I talk about in the description box below as well so you can easily um find them okay so let's start with this little shoe box i'm really excited about these it comes in their own little like pretty little thing box i feel like other brands don't have that so i picked up these like mule sandals how amazing are these oh my god i'm obsessed okay so these are like really trendy right now aren't they they're like a copy of the oh, i don't even know how to say it the Bottega heels um i have like a black pair like this they're square toe with the thing here over the shoe is like a quilted should i show you it let me show you it. these are the black ones that i own you can kind of see they're like a quilted sort of um faux leather there but these are the pretty little thing ones they are so sick can you see it's like i honestly i don't know how to explain it but you can kind of see all this like crisscrossing all over it and they're kind of like squishy I have absolutely no idea how to explain these shoes, but you can kind of see. But I wanted to pick these up because I wore the black ones for the first time the other day. I went for like a um, dinner out. They just look so nice and they look really classy. And like they elongate your legs because they've got no straps or anything around the ankle. They like elongate your legs. They just looked really cool. I really, really loved them. So I thought I'd pick up a nude pair. And then when I saw these on Pretty Little Thing and how different they were, yeah, I just had to pick it up. And they also are square toed, which I love. I don't know why. It's actually quite weird when you look at it. Like if you really look at the shoe it's like it looks weird but i love it these are a size four and the color is like this really nice nude it's very light nude i definitely am going to get tons of wear out of these i think these even look really nice just with like jeans as well okay so i picked up yeah remember these i picked up these flared jeans not sure how these are gonna look because i watched well, they weren't flared but if you saw my last zara haul i picked up these wide leg jeans which kind of looked flared when i had them on but i had to take them back because they were so tight around like just they were tight so i wanted to pick up another sort of flared jean vibe because i just really liked it but these are like skinnier around the thighs you're not really going to be able to see because it's black 
but they are high-waisted jeans. They're kind of skinnier around the thigh. Then you can probably, well, you, actually, you probably can't see. It like flares out. Oh, you can. See how that flares out? And the girl, I'm pretty sure the model had it on just like chunky trainers and a black crop, I think. And it looked really cool. Sort of picturing this with like a roll neck crop top and then like my chunky boots. So the flares will sort of go over the chunky boot. That's how I'm sort of picturing it, but I'm not sure how it will look on. I got these in a size 8. The only thing is, I think... It looks like these are going to be too big around my waist, which is always the issue that I have with jeans, is that they're really tight everywhere, but then if I get a size 8, they're too big around my waist. But then I feel like my thighs are going to explode and suffocate, so I actually don't know whether these are going to fit. Or maybe they will, I don't know. To be fair, they feel really stretchy, so even if I did want to size down, I might be able to get away with it. Yeah, I picked up these flared jeans. I'm kind of into flares right now. They are, I think they're in fashion, right? I just want to quickly say with these jeans, they are a little bit too big for me that they're falling down around my waist and stuff. And they just feel a little bit loose everywhere. So I think I'm going to reorder these in the smaller size. So I actually think if these fit me properly, like I said, some chunky boots, like a bodysuit like this. It's like a really cool, like, outfit. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to get these in the size below because I would say they run a little bit big. Especially at, like, the waist and stuff, they are quite big. Um, but they're like a really cool jean if they fit properly. And with some chunky boots, I think they'll look really cool. I feel get the other jean out of the way. I feel like in every haul I do, I always end up picking a jean. I can guarantee you 90% of the time they get sent back because I just... Every time I put jeans on, I'm just like, no, I don't like it. These, I, I actually got a similar pair of these in my misguided haul, but they were too big for me. So they did go back. Um, so they're sort of them straight wide leg jeans, but they have that slit, you know, they have that slit right at the bottom of the jean. And I've seen loads of girls wear this with like clear heels. So it sort of goes all the way down to the floor, but because of the split, you can see the heel. And yeah, it looks really cool. I definitely feel like it's more of like an autumn night out outfit. Obviously, you sort of stop wearing as many dresses and stuff when you go out in the autumn. So I wanted to pick up a cool pair of jeans like this. Because I did really like the pair from the Sky Did. Again, the only thing is it looks like it's going to be a little bit too big for me around my waist. It's hard because sometimes they're fine. and No, I don't know. But I love this wash of blue. It's a really nice mid blue colour. Yeah, like I said, just goes straight down and has that split at the bottom. So I feel like I'm never going to find the perfect jean. Next thing I picked up. Oh, yeah, this was kind of random. Um, this is a jumpsuit. I don't own a jumpsuit, but really the only reason I picked these up was because the bottoms were flared. And this was before I added the jeans to my basket. But then I thought, well, it's completely different. But it's like a strapless bodysuit. No, not bodysuit. It's like a strapless jumpsuit. It has like a little crisscross detail around the top half. And then it's literally just plain black from the waist. It's really nice, soft material. You can see it's kind of slim. And then as it goes down to the knee, it sort of starts to flare out. Really simple, but the model just had it on with some black... No black, let's just had them on with some heels. Really simple, but the model just had it on with some heels. And it looked really classy, so it was just really simple. When I go out, I've realised now, like, I'm not going to try too hard. I just like wearing all black, pretty simple. I feel like I feel most comfortable that way. And also, I feel quite, like, chic when I... Why did I go so high then? I also feel quite chic when I wear all black as well. It's just, like, a simple, easy outfit when you put all black on. So, I thought I would pick up this jumpsuit, seeing as I don't have anything like it and I liked the flared thought it looked quite cool on the model and I got this in a size 8 as well I think there's like a zip or anything so I don't know how you get into it okay, the next thing I picked up was this high neck I think it's called yeah high neck extreme racer bodysuit it's in that same slinky material that i feel like the bodysuits that everyone has like the racer back and the neck's like just normal like this and um, it's like that same really slinky soft material but this is a high neck and if you've been watching any of my videos or my hauls you'll know that i'm really into like a high neck sleeveless moment at the moment but this is called extreme racer i hope you're going to be able to see but it's like really cut in at the back so it really goes in like that and this is more for nights out i don't think you're going to be warm enough to wear this in the autumn even with like a coat i feel like it's quite a lot of skin exposed under the coat but for a night out it doesn't matter you just i feel like you just freeze on a night out it's just like what you do yeah again i just thought this would look really like sleek and chic on a night out just with maybe the black flares and then like some heels i feel like might look quite cool yeah but i just love this material it is a bodysuit by the way as well so i picked up the white high neck thick ribbed oversized jumper dress <laughs> quite a mouthful so this is literally as i just said it's a really well it's actually really thick um 
ribbed oversized jumper dress it is like this really pretty cream white color which i love in the autumn winter with like browns and nudes and burgundies i feel like this really nice pretty cream color looks really nice in the autumn time it is a high neck hopefully you can see the material but it's really soft it feels really good quality and it's also thick as well the sleeves are kind of oversized and they do taper towards the wrist and then it's just like an oversized jumper dress i kind of pictured this with like the high neck boots that every high neck the high knee boots that everyone wears but i don't actually own a pair of high knee boots so i would actually have to buy a pair even i think tights and doc martens or would that look weird because the color of this is so light or maybe i could get away with bare legs but i don't know i don't get how people do that like it looks so cool when people wear oversized jumpers and then just like bare legs and chunky boots but it's freezing like how do people actually do it or is it just to take a picture i'm not sure what i'm actually going to style it with to be honest i just thought it looked really nice i can imagine this with like an oversized teddy bear coat it might not look weird with tights i just don't know whether it's a bit too light to wear with tights but this is like a perfect autumn winter piece especially if you did have like some high knee boots i thought that would look really cool and the last thing that i picked up was this oversized um round neck sweatshirt so i bought this to wear with tights and then my chunky doc martens the thing is i don't know whether it's going to be too short like to cover because i wanted like a really oversized round neck sweatshirt where it kind of looks like a dress but i find sometimes like oversized jumper dresses they just don't have the look that i want the look i want is a really oversized top like it looks like a top but it's huge does that make any sense it probably doesn't but yeah i don't know whether this is actually going to be long enough to wear as a dress i mean i can wear denim shorts sort of poking out if i need to i didn't really want to be able to see the shorts so yeah, I don't know. It does look really big though because I did get this in a large, so it was oversized. And yeah, I got this in a large and I don't, yeah, I don't think it's going to be long enough. But it is a really cool jumper if you just wanted it to lounge in. Even like with jeans and just some trainers to pop out in the autumn winter time. It's this like washed black, like grey colour, which actually looks really nice to be fair. It's like a nice washed black it's a round neck it's plain except from this little tag here which is black and it just says studio collection with some white writing so it's quite simple but i actually like that in fact it just has that little tag to it to the side looks really nice would still look really nice with joggers just chilling around the house like you could never have enough like round neck jumpers in the autumn winter to have indoors i don't know whether they had an extra large maybe i should have got an extra large i just want i want a round neck jumper that just looks huge and then i can wear tights and dot mines that's sort of my vision um yeah, but we'll try this on and you'll obviously see in the trial clip. That was everything that I got from Pretty Little Thing. To be fair, I do feel quite impressed with everything I've got out so far. I can't say that anything looks bad quality or doesn't look like it's going to be nice on. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. I will link all the clothes in the description box below along with all the information about the shop tagger, shopping tool. Yeah, please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye.